Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's episode we are going to be taking a look at Cool Booter for Legacy iOS. So right here I have my lovely iPhone 5. Uh, I really like this phone. It is very tiny. This is, it's compared to my 930. So you can see it is small. And so today we're going to be checking out a dual booting method where you can dual boot different versions of iOS on these type of legacy iOS devices. So I think this is just for ARM32. But uh, yeah, you can see right here I have iOS 8, it's jailbroken. I downgraded from iOS 10 using a tool and I'm just gonna open it. All right, so there it is, cool booter, and we're just going to open it up. And you can see we got the menu over here, waiting for user input, and there's some boot options. And you can change the logo, I guess. I'm not gonna do that because I think it's fine already. I do have an iOS 7.0 install already there, but I am going to get rid of it just for you guys so I can show you the whole process again. Now what people would usually use this for is to install iOS 6 so that they can use, you know, skeuomorphic iOS and all that stuff. But uh, uh, since there's a lots of videos already on that, I'm just gonna try other things today. So you press install once you open it up and like I said, since there's a lot of videos, I'm not going to show you guys how to get it, but basically there's a CDA repository, you use that to, to go download it, and there's even an untetherer, which means every time you boot the phone, you don't have to open the app and stuff, and you just have to, it'll just reboot by itself. If you want to boot into the main iOS, you have to hold like one of the volume buttons. So yeah, there's lots of videos showing you how to do that, but today we're just going to be checking it out and seeing what we can do. So there's 6.0 goes all the way to the latest supported so there's iOS 10 so we're on iOS 8 right now but there's a lot that you can install on here so for now I'm going to show you guys iOS 7.0 again so you can actually press here to change the storage I'm gonna set it to the maximum and oops, okay and then all I have to do is press I'm ready and it'll do its thing no I don't want to do that sure you can do verbose boot just to show you guys some of the cool features uh, we're gonna be doing ios 10 maybe later or ios 9 so i'm gonna show you guys two things in this video today and right now it's downloading ios 7 from apple so it's also showing the internet speed it's just gonna do that install it and all that stuff so i'll get back to you guys once it's done Alright guys, as you can see it finished and it's saying please restart your device, so slide to power off your device, then turn it back on to continue, and we're just going to press the reboot button, and you might have noticed it said that the storage was full, that's a normal thing, don't worry about it, just you can press done and let it continue on its way, and now it's just going to restart the device. Alright, so you can see it booted back into my iOS 8. And now all we need to do is when we open it up and we press boot, it says booting iOS 7, it says lock your device, so you're going to close it. And you just got to wait a little and it should automatically start booting into iOS 7. Now, sometimes it might fail and go back to iOS 8, but then you just have to go back to the app and press boot. So there's our verbose boot happening. Uh, personally, my preference is I don't like the verbose boot. I just prefer it to be the Apple logo, you know, it feels more official, but I just did it here for, just to show you guys. Maybe for the iOS 9 or 10, we're gonna disable the verbose boot. All right, you can see the phone booted back to iOS 8, so I'm just gonna do it again. Lock the device. I'm just gonna do its thing to turn back on. Now, I don't know if it, that thing was a fail or if it was just preparing the installation, so it might just be that. Now, because I don't have the untethered tweak, which again, I said you can find in Cydia, it's gonna do this red boots back to iOS 8 and I have to manually go to it. So I'm just gonna quickly reboot it back into iOS 7. And there it is, it's got the loading bar, it's very very nice. 
and let me guys know if you ever had an iPhone 5 or something similar do you prefer the really bright loading screen or the dark one that like iOS 6 had for example because I know that these white colored iPhones back then they had the white loading screen with the black apple and the black iPhones would have the black background with the white apple so which one do you guys prefer? Personally, I like the black background with the white apple, but uh, this is pretty cool too. And here you go, the setup screen. It says slide to setup, so we're just gonna do that. Do English. We're gonna choose our country and sign into the Wi Fi and wait for the iPhone to activate. Now, recently I heard that there was activation issues with these iPhones with some certain chips like these old iPhones when you try to just use anything on them but I guess mine works thankfully and we're just gonna enable it because who cares set up as new iPhone I'm gonna skip this step because it doesn't even work anyways you have to install some certificates from Safari from a website before you can actually sign in or do any of these things just because it's very old so I'm gonna press agree and I'm just not gonna add a passcode and do not send those and welcome to iPhone here it is iOS 7.0 that uh, oh, some of these numbers are in Arabic because of the region 7.0 so there you go it is official we have now iOS 7.0 and if I reboot I can go back into iOS 8 which is really nice and you can see a bunch of these stuff it is jailbroken so that is a cool thing it actually jailbreaks it for you so I find that very nice and you can see the Apple Music and all of these icons, the passbook even, like it's super cool. This is just iOS 7 and possibly my favorite thing about iOS 7 is this shutdown screen. This is like the coolest shutdown screen I've ever seen. Now, does it have the same issue where... No, actually, because you might know that on your iPhone, if you swipe down on this, the text will go away. So this actually solved that issue or maybe it didn't exist on iOS 6 or something. I don't know. I, I didn't test. But uh, yeah, I find this one really cool. I don't know why, it's just like, I think they should have kept it honestly, it's really nice. And it's very nice, you got uh, your just iOS 7 stuff. Whether would like to know my location? No, you cannot. And a bunch of these things, so just really cool iOS 7 stuff. You got Safari, uh, let's go to, sure, yahoo.com. Uh, is it even gonna load on this old Safari? Uh, yes, maybe? Looks very broken. Anyways, there's nothing really to explore here. I mean, just use it however you like, but I think this is a 32 gigabyte iPhone and there's not much storage, especially if you do boot. No, I think this is 16 gigabytes actually. So yeah, when you do boot, even though I fixed a lot of storage, like half of this phone's storage, I'll cut it. It didn't even let me pick half the phone storage. It just let me pick five gigabytes, which isn't the best. So you can see it's not very usable. It's more like a it's a gimmick. You know, you can just install it if you want. And all you need to do to get back is press and hold, and then you can slide to power off. And we're gonna go back into iOS eight and go back to Cool Booter, and we're gonna choose a different iOS version to install. All right guys, we're back in Cool Booter and all you have to do is just uninstall. Yes, I'm sure it's gonna get rid of iOS 7. So all of that worked for nothing. Sorry to tire you about iPhone and I am keeping it plugged in because the battery in this is horrible. It will depreciate in 30 minutes under regular use and maybe even 15, so not good. It is old, so that's why it always has to be plugged in. And I've been meaning to do this video for a long time for like a week or two so it's been charging for a lot and it's not good for it's already bad battery so I think I'm just gonna go ahead with the latest just because I can iOS 10.3.3 and we're gonna set the storage to 5 no we're not gonna use a custom no we're not gonna do verbose boot and we're gonna let it do its thing Alright guys, so as you can see, something went wrong, there was an issue partitioning and this is actually pretty insane, this might just because of the space. Yeah, you likely need more free space, fail to partition, alright. 
unable to continue so I'm guessing all you have to do is close it out go back inside and do the whole thing again wow okay uh, I'm not gonna make you guys go through all that time lapse instead I'm going to choose iOS 9 actually it's pretty useless since we have iOS 8 fine we'll go with 6.0 just because people usually choose uh, 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 but let's do 6.0 just because we can uh, only 3 gigs why what about this one does this allow more oh, only 3 gigs what is this wait 3 gigs why no I meant something's something's off okay Three gigs, what is this about, huh? Maybe if I restart it again. This is weird, why is it doing this? Install. Am I out of a lot of space? What is this about, come on guys. Okay, three gigs. Apparently I only have three gigs available to partition, so we're gonna do that and do iOS 6.0, just because we don't want that space issue to become a thing. Uh, I hope iOS 6.0 doesn't need that much space, but fine, we'll just do this. No, we don't want. No, we don't want. And I'm gonna skip to when this is finished or if it fails again. So, see you guys there. Alright guys, so we restarted and you can see finishing installation. Now, since we didn't choose Verbose Boot, it just shows this instead of showing all the other stuff. And so, that's the difference. Later, I'll just show the Apple logo as well, like no verbose stuff. So that is what happens when you don't choose verbose boot. And I'm gonna cut to when we're at the out of box experience. All right, guys, check it out. iOS 6 boot logo. This is what I was talking about when I said black screen. And there's our loading bar. We also have the skeuomorphic Apple, even though before I was talking about just the regular one, but this is probably my favorite Apple boot logo. They haven't changed the new one in so many years like for ios 26 since they're doing this whole design change uh, i think that they should really just make a whole new boot logo as well and just you know give put some effort into it especially with the whole liquid glass thing not being any liquid anymore just because people didn't like the readability even though they set backgrounds to white or something anyways back to this there you go out of box experience I do actually like this a lot, so yeah, I'm gonna change this to English. And sure, so now I connect it to Wi-Fi, I'm gonna be activating the iPhone and I hope it works. There you go. Uh, this is don't care. Yeah, do whatever. Set up as new iPhone. Skip this step because it's not gonna work right now. And agree, for sure. Don't send. Start using iPhone. Wow, check this out. iOS 6 is nice, let me tell you. Definitely one of, one of my favorite mobile operating systems. Definitely not my top one. My top one is, of course, Windows Phone. But uh, yeah, there you go. 6.0, it's jailbroken. Like I said, install the certificate, sign with your Apple ID if you want, install apps and all that stuff. And it is pretty cool. So this is my demonstration for Cool Booter for our legacy iOS devices and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.